Howdy everyone, Pete Daddy here. Today in FIFA we had a brand new swaps program introduced with the FIFA Global Series Swaps. It's a competitive gaming viewership reward program. Basically EA is trying to bribe you to watch their Twitch account, which is all fine and dandy. But I wanted to go over how to get it set up, what you need to do, how to collect your rewards, all that fun stuff. But before we do, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe down below, check the description, join my Discord, but let's just get right to it. So this one, what you're going to have to do is watch Watch eligible events, which you'll then earn tokens. So if you're new to FIFA and I've never seen swaps before, you will earn these token rewards. It'll either be a player. I'm assuming it's going to be a player because generally you then trade those in into the swaps program to get something else. And we'll, I'll go over all the rewards, look at the SBCs or all that type of stuff. And it says right there, via SBCs, now live in game. The FGS swaps will offer one FGS player token item to a viewer who watches 60 or more minutes of an eligible event. There will be 10 FGS player token items available during the first swap. So it looks like they're going to try to do this another time or two. And you can check out the event schedule for FGS swaps 1 on the EA News competitive gaming section. You can start collecting FGS Swaps 1 player token items by linking your EA and Twitch accounts and tuning in to the FIFA 21 Challenge at twitch.tv slash EA Sports FIFA on October 29th at 6 p.m. UK time. So uh, we, first things first, what we're going to have to do is link our accounts. I guess let's just go into the game first. I'll show you how to do that. Let me show you the rewards that you can possibly do. And I'm still, just to give you my opinion on this, I, I'm a, it's a little meh. Uh, I guess it's probably better than what they've done. In the past, they, they've had something like, you, they'll have like a prime R9 or a prime Hullet as a reward and no one ever gets it. So people are watching, hoping they get something and they never do. At least this should guarantee that you're going to get some type of reward in game. And if we go over to our SBC, so let's just go over there and I'll show you the different rewards you can get. And we have a whole new swaps tab open. So to get any reward as of right now, you have to have a minimum of two tokens. And honestly, if you're going to do this, I recommend you're going to have to take it all the way. You're going to have to try to go for those five tokens. It says that there are 10 tokens possible, but I just don't feel like it's going to be worth it. And you got to remember, you can have this on in the background. You don't necessarily have to watch it, you know, intently focus on it. There's not going to be a test at the end of it. There's not going to be a pop quiz. So just try to have it on in the background. If you could at least get to the Mega Pack, Mega Packs have been decent this year, but Jumbo Rare Players Packs are really, really nice packs. So I do commend EA for that. That is a strong reward. Those are 100,000 coin packs. You get 24 rare gold players. Now it does stink a little. It's untradeable, but you know you can't expect these rewards to be tradable, I guess, with the way EA has things set up. So my recommendation would be if you're going to do this, you know, don't just do it for two to get a premium gold pack. Just the likelihood of doing it, of getting something from that is just so rare. But if you could get the four or can get five out of the ten, then you know that's really going to help. And I'm also it says these are repeatable. So if you can get all ten, then you could do five, do a jumbo rare players pack, do five more, and do two jumbo rare players packs. So that is a really nice reward right there. So I can't can't fault EA at all for that. And it's something anybody can get for watching. It's not just the random one person out of 18 gazillion gets that root hola. You never know if anybody even gets it or not. So that I do commend that. So let's go over how we're going to get it set up. So the first thing you want to do, uh, let me get this loaded up here. We're going to go to Twitch, twitch.tv. You're going to want to make sure you're logged into your Twitch. If you're not logged in, make sure you're logged in. Let's go ahead. Let's say, let's bring up Nick from Run the Foot Market. We'll say hi to Nick real quick. Is Nick on? Yeah, there's Nick. Nick killing it like always. So make sure that you are um, you know, logged into Twitch. The next thing you want to do is go to EA.com and make sure you are logged in. So right here where it kind of has that, that face, make sure you are logged into your EA account as well. The EA account that you use in-game. And you know, there's there's my uh, email for that. A lot of times it's different from your normal email. It seems like EA has some weird emails sometimes that are signed up to like the Microsoft account. So use your EA account, make sure you are logged in. Then we are gonna go to this website, which is ea.com slash twitch linking. So we are gonna go to there. I'll leave this up right here. I'll put it in the description as well. 
ea.com slash twitch linking and this is what will link our twitch account to our ea account and basically all this says you've got to give them over your firstborn son you've got to promise to buy at least 10,000 fifa points a month you've got to make sure to buy the ultimate edition you've got to buy no i'm just kidding you do probably have to give us your email address all that type of stuff so just authorize the account so that ea and your twitch accounts will now be linked and we'll have to log in one more time onto here. So we're logging into our EA account. Oh, and they're saying they're sending a security code. They're getting all serious. We're going to get our phone up. We've got a security code. All right. We are rocking and rolling. There's my security code. We'll recognize this computer. We will just sign everything on them. Do we want to link them? Yes, we want to link them. So that's my EA and that's my Twitch. And then you want to make sure when you're watching them on Twitch that you're going to be watching from the Twitch account that you did link. So, you know, I know some people may have like a Twitch account that they maybe create with and maybe they watch with. You know, I don't know. Just make sure when you're watching, you're using this particular Twitch account. So we are going to link them up. You have linked them. It's been linked. That should be good to go. So now whenever you watch it, so let's just go back. Let's see if we can find which one is it? Yeah, this one. This is the EA Sports FIFA Twitch. So you might want to follow this one just to make sure that you're going to get notified when they're on. There's supposed to be a schedule as well. I will try to look for that and maybe put that out into the description as well. But we know the first one is, what, what did it say, October 30th? Don't quote me on that. I'll have to go back. But at the beginning of the video where we had that, it was that had the where the first one was going to be. I'm pretty sure it was October 30th, 6 p.m. UK time. So we want to make sure we tune in for that. Again, minimize it. Just be, you know, have it up. You don't have to watch it intently. There's not a test, not a quiz, none of that fun stuff. But that is how you will do it. And again, like I said, if you want to do that, I would highly recommend Highly recommend going as far to get a Jumbo Rare Players Pack if you can get 5 out of the 10. If you can get 4 out of the 10 and get the Mega Pack, that's also a nice pack. And a Prime Electrum Players Pack is also not bad. It's just that this Premium Gold Pack, that is not. That should have been like a Premium Gold Players Pack, not just a Premium Gold Pack. In my opinion, a Premium Gold Pack is not a very good reward. This should have, I wonder if they even messed it up. That should have been a Premium Gold Players Pack. Maybe this should have been a prime gold players pack. Maybe this a rare mega pack and this one a jumbo rare players pack. But again, they're free rewards. You can think whatever you want to of them. I know a lot of people will try to get them. Free rewards are free rewards. There's nothing wrong with that. But we also did get an SBC today in game. I wanted to complete that real quick. So let's go over to, I still have trouble finding, okay. Trying to figure out how to get to SBCs in the quickest manner. So we've got a FIFA Global Series SBC today as well. Where we get a rare election players pack, but it is untradeable, unfortunately. But we'll go ahead and knock this one out. See if we can pack anything good. Knock this out real quick. What are the requirements? Five max leagues. Players from same league. Four. Same, uh, same nation or region. Minimum five. So we need several players from the same nation. Only one rare player and only 75 rated. So this should not be too bad. Maybe I could try something. What about Brazil? Do I have enough Brazilian players that I could just start knocking some of this out with? Just pop him right there. That should do it. Okay, we've got it submitted. Took longer than it should have, but oh well, we've got it done. So the FGS Challenge, Rare Electrum Players Pack. Let's see if we can get this open. Can we get anything strong? Can we get anything good? Help us out, EA. Help us out one time. Let's go. Rare election players pack. Still hoping. I've, I did pay for the Douglas Costa Rule Breakers, who has been epic. I would love to pack him, though, and then be able to sell my tradable one. What are we going to get? Not even a flag. 82 rated. How terrible. So our rare election players pack did not pay off, was not good, was not what we wanted. Anything good behind there like Sissoko? No, just we've got so many rare, so many duplicate, uh, duplicate golds at the moment, but it is what it is. But we do see a league on, I do see a championship, an era of you see lots of good silvers, but it is what it is, anyways, boys. I just wanted to go over how to complete those swaps how to get it signed up, what you should do. So if you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. But definitely, if you're new here, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord. But I will see you guys soon. Bye.